Hello, this video is a video of all the makeup I own, okay? Oh man, I wanna get, um, give me one second, look at my Christmas tree. Okay, I needed one thing. Okay, get in there. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you what I own and stuff that I have. Let me zip up everything here. Make sure I got it all in here too. Okay. Okay. That's the phone. That's not part of makeup. Okay. We're going to start with this big thing. You guys all know I own the Ulta kit, which honestly now since I got the Too Faced, I kind of want to chuck this out the door. But if I will, maybe I'll just keep it for like quickie makeups, so I don't feel like you know using the stuff. But once I get more Too Faced, I kind of think this is gonna end up going that way. But I don't want to get rid of the container, so this opens up, and you have here a mirror, a good sized mirror. So if you guys are thinking about an idea for Christmas, for um, uh, man, it's hot in here, for um, your youngins, this is good for a young kid or a starting out person, like as if I was. Um, you got a mirror here, which is kind of nasty because of all the stuff I've been using. Here, this was had all the blushes and stuff, which I have that in a different thing. I'll get to that one. But over here, you've got the brushes, which they're all used, sorry. But the one good thing about this is, if I do ever get rid of this, let me show you how. This would kind of disappoint me. The blushes are, are the blushes. The eyeshadows are all in this plastic thing, so they're all right there. And you could take this out and toss it or whatever, or give it to somebody, and you got your inside. So honestly, I would like to keep this container to put my other makeup in, like all my makeup in or something. I would like to do that. So let's put this back in here. I mean, I give it wrong, there's some pretty colors, but they don't stay on. And I like my staying on power. Okay, in this bottom drawer, I'll show you this, you get a bottom drawer right here that comes out like this, so you can take this out, okay? And in this you got your highlighters, which the highlighters are so like hard to, you know, get off, so that's why I got the, see, this is the only highlighter I use. These other ones are kind of a little dark, so I tried the other highlighters. This I would put on my cheeks also and my eyelids too also I've done this but this here also you could take this out too and it came with the on the bottom here it came with the um like an eye liner an eye brush whatever but this is it it's in the plastic which I'm not kind of happy with. So you got a drawer you could stick like you know your stuff in put this back so maybe I could like use this like for play or something like if my friends come over and be like hey let's do a makeover okay let's do a makeover we're using this stuff <laughs> um oh wait a minute does this come out oh does this mirror come out I think this mirror comes out just by the way it's acting let's see hold on oh no it's kind of falling off which I can actually get some glue and just glue it back on so, but this is the kit. I mean, it's a very nice kit. It's a starter kit. You know, you get some eyeliners out of this. You get, okay, that was a loud train. You get some eyeliners out of this. You get um, the brushes. You get, what else do you get? Um, uh, eyeliners, brushes. You get, like, glosses, which I'm giving those away. I don't like glosses. So, that's the kit. Okay, I went to, um, I've hauled this before, I went to, which I might give this to somebody, because I'm in love with another palette. But this is very nice, it's a shimmer palette. I got this from Ross, this is the Pro Fusion Shimmer Palette. Has 10 eyeshadow palettes, what is that now? 10 eyeshadow palettes. So, here they are. And they're very pigmented, I give it that, but they don't stay on, and they're very nice. But I've only used, like, about maybe these four right here. These four. So 
So see, they're very pigmented, but they don't stay on. See, I'm wiping it off my hands. They don't stay on. I might give this to somebody, but in this thing, it came with an eyeliner, an eyeliner, and a, um, a brush for you to put it on. And it does have a good size mirror. Well, a kind of a good size, but that's that. I might give this away. Um, the next thing I own is I got this from Ross too, and this is very nice. And I just have it in this thing. Thank you, Vicky, again. I have it in here. What else is in the bottom here? Oh, these are all. This is the brushes that it came with. And the Ulta. These are the brushes. Hmm, maybe I should use these and like, I don't know. But this is another. This is the um, Lovely Look set, and it has five brushes in it. So this is the next set I'll be using when these brushes go. But I really like this, I and mean, it has like its own little container. It's kind of a little bit more sturdy. But this is the brush, and the brush is like really soft. So that's the blush brush. I mean, it's like really soft, so. Kind of like this a little bit more than what I have in the uh, the Ulta. This is like very nice. Okay, put that back in there. Okay, now let's get into. We're gonna do Too Faced last. Um, uh oh, okay, here it is. We're doing that Too Faced last, because I love my Too Faced. Do we need light? It's like a darker out. Let me turn the light on. Of course, that don't work. There it goes. Okay, that's a little better. Okay. I'm like sitting on my couch here doing this, because I don't like that light over there. I'm going to have to rearrange my, my front room around again. But it's going to have to be after Christmas. Okay, in this bag... I've got these bags. I got, hold on. I'm going to show you. I got three bags that I got from my subscriber, Vicky. She didn't use these, so she gave these to me. It's a clear bag. And there's this beautiful bag here. I really love this one. Then I got this one. This in this bag has my, <coughs> like, my foundation primers and stuff like that. And if you guys, I'm going to tell you guys something. If you guys think that some of this stuff is bad, or, you know, that you guys have something that's better. Because I'm going to tell you what are the pros and cons of the stuff in this bag. Let me know in the comments below of what is better. And I'm going to try to link everything below. If I don't, I'm sorry. But I'm going to try. Um, or maybe what I'll do is I'll say, like, foundation is from CoverGirl, you know. And you could be like, okay, well, CoverGirl's got a much better foundation. Or, you know, Too Faced's got another better foundation, which probably do. Too Faced is expensive, so. But I love Too Faced. I'm getting into loving Too Faced. Okay, we're going to go into order here. This is not even closed all the way. Why? Why isn't this closed all the way? My foundation wasn't closed all the way. Okay. All right, we're going to start in order. Of like what I start with. So I'm going to dump everything out. Okay, I start with the... The CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer. Which I would like another primer. Maybe a primer that will... You know, do... A little bit better for pimples and stuff. But this is a very nice primer. Um, honestly, I don't know if it stays... It says it stays on all day. But sometimes my foundation, it does come off. Because I end up seeing my pimples. Just on my cheeks. But everywhere else seems fine. But I love this stuff. CoverGirl always does, you know, good stuff with their products, I think. Okay, the next thing I have is the NYX Eyeshadow Base. And it's in this small thing. I kind of want to get a bigger one because this thing is a little too small. I could probably give this to somebody. You know, I might go through my makeup and see what I can give. Because I have a my neighbor, I want to give her some stuff for Christmas. So if I can find, like, other primers. But I can't give this to her because I need an eye primer until next month. So. Um, okay. Then. Let's see, is that it? Okay, this is what came in with the kit. And I've been using these. Um, these are the Ulta eyeshadows. This is what I'm wearing now is the highlighter and glow. I, what I do is I mix the colors together. So I have that. Then I have Sweet and Adore. And this one I haven't used because it's a little too dark. Uh, 
Tiger Lily and Flush. Okay, the next thing I have is, um, I don't know the name of it, and I bet you I wouldn't be able to see it. Let me see. Oh, okay. This is the Ulta, not Ulta, um, I got this from, uh, Sally's Beauty Supply. It does not stay on, so, yeah. It's a very beautiful color. It's called Snow. And a very nice metallic. I mean, it's pigmented. Look at it. But, it don't stay on. So, um, and then I got, I'm not going to swatch these. I got a glitter. I'm almost out of this because I used this on my eyelids last week. This is like the small ones. Where, oh, here it is. And this one is called, give me a second. Is there a name on this? Twinkle in your eye. Oh, what am I doing? This is Twinkle in Your Eye. I mean, I'm almost, this is probably going to be in the Project uh, project Pan. This is probably going to be in the, um, the empties. There's not going to be an empties videos this month because I really don't have anything that, I mean, the end of this month, I really don't have anything. So far, I looked at my empties bin, I got like two items, maybe three, because so I got something in the bathroom. This is another one I haven't really used it yet. Um, this one's called Diamond. Um, and this is a perfume. I got this from Vicky, my subscriber. It smells so good, though. And this is called... It's a uh, solid perfume. It's a Hawaiian Ruby Geneva. And it smells really nice. It smells like more like fruity to me. I like this. But, I mean, this is very pretty. I haven't used it yet. Okay, and then I have the NYX... HD uh, finishing powder. I got this. Um, when, you know when you go in the Ulta, they have like these carts, like right by the, you know, the checkout line, and they have the, um, they have like, like samples of. I purchased this because I needed a finishing powder, and I saw this sitting there. Like, oh, I don't feel like going back. I'll just buy the NYX. And I hear NYX is really good. So, okay, the next thing, the last thing I have. Oh, I didn't. No, not the last thing. The second to the last is my L'Oreal Inflammable uh, Setting Spray. And this is just in the little bottle. I might have to get more. But I'm going to think, I'm thinking what I'm doing is that once I finish this stuff out, I'm going to end up getting like the little bit more expensive stuff. It's going to take time, but yeah. The last but not least, I need a different foundation. If you guys know, um, I would like a better one, but I want to finish this one because this is $15. CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless Finishing. And this is in 240. And I don't want, I don't like powders for foundation. I like, you know, like the, um, liquid kind. You can just rub on. I don't like the powder finishing. I don't like powders. Okay, so that's it for this bag. So let me close it back up. Okay, that's it for that bag. Okay, the next bag I have, which I showed you guys this bag, so this bag's done. Okay, the next bag I have is my see-through bag. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky, again. I wouldn't even know where I'd be storing half this stuff. I got a drawer in my thing, which I'll show you guys after this video is done, where I keep all my makeup in, like one drawer, and it's getting kind of filled. Okay, these two are the CoverGirl eyeshadow things. I don't even know the names of them. They ripped off. They wiped off. I just can't part with them because they've been with me for years. And these were like the only ones that actually stayed on my eyes that I know of. I got to try to part with these. So I can't part with those yet. What is this? Oh, swatch sticks. I found a pile of swatch sticks right here. Why are these over here? Why are these over here? Okay, that was weird. Do I have any more in here? Nope. I just turned to look and I'm like, what is that? Okay, I do have, I don't know where this is from or you can get this anywhere, but I don't know what brand this is. It's kind of dirty. I should clean it. Um, this is my eyelash crimper, curler, crimper, whatever. Man, it's hot in here. And um, this is real nice. I like using this thing. There's a trick with this, but I didn't use this in my video on Thursday. Well, yesterday, because this is going to go up Friday. 
um, of my get ready with me there's a trick maybe I'll make a tip video I've learned from somebody I'll make that video okay um, but I'm not gonna do it today cuz I got my face done Man, I'm hot I'm gonna go turn down the heat I'll take you guys with me though. so you guys are not sitting here you know sorry about that don't mind my house I'm gonna turn down my heat because it is hot yeah I got an old 1950 heat thingy um focus why isn't it focusing <coughs> okay go back there we go okay okay sorry about that I had to take in a little road trip okay um but there's this okay the next thing I have are eye <coughs> eye mascaras this is the L'Oreal uh, Volumize Mega Mascara I got this from Vicky thank you so much this is what I put on first then I put on my CoverGirl uh, Fulls Lash Balm I got this for my birthday thank you dad my father-in-law okay this can go over here that's a lipstick. Okay, I do own three um, eyeliners. One is the CoverGirl that came with the package with this. And this is the... Always need a magnifier. Oops, upside down, isn't it? The Eye Pencil Perfect Point Plus. Does it say it's waterproof? 200 number. Black Let's see if it says anything about waterproof. Made in, ooh, it's made in USA. Hey, I like that. I own something that's made in USA. Me like that. Yeah, it sounds kind of wrong, but I don't give a crap. Nowadays, I don't. Okay, uh, this is from Ulta, uh, the Sally's. I haven't tried this one out yet, so I don't know. So I'm gonna put that back in my bag because I haven't tried that out yet. Okay, this one I've tried out. This is the Paula Dio. Take the thing off so I can read it. You hear that? The wind's gonna rip my roof off. Um, Herbal Per Session Eyeliner. This is made in USA too. Wow. I didn't know there were so many that was made in USA. Oh wait, wrong one. Okay, let's put these two back. Okay, the next one I have, I haven't tried it yet. I think I tried it once, but I don't remember what it did. This is from Sally's also, and this is from the same brand that Paralidio, uh, Herbel Eyeliner, and it's waterproof. Maybe I should try this out. Let's see what this is made in. Made in the USA. Man, I'm so bad. Three eyeliners are made in the USA. I'm bad. I'm sorry. Okay. So that's done. Um, did I put everything in here? Oh, wait, these are the eyeliners. Ow. If you guys don't remember here, I'll do a swatch of my old, old eyeshadow. And you'll see why I love it. I don't know if you can see it. It's beautiful. I love this. It's beautiful. It's very old too. That's why I don't use it. Okay, why is this thing sticking up out? Come on. Okay. Uh, the next things I use, the stuff that I use to take off my face is the deep clean oil-free makeup cleanser wipes in Neutrogena. So this is almost done. Um, I could not find it. I found this in a two-pack. I'm just hoping this is oil-free because if it's not, I'm taking this back to Walmart and I'm going to get the oil-free because it's better. So, okay. Last but not least, I got two face stuff I want to use. Chocolate bar! I'm sorry. I'm just so happy I have this. I love this. I want to go back and get the semi-sweet and the bonbon one, which if you guys know, the bonbon is not out yet until next month. 
because uh, Ulta told me that. In Ulta is not out. I don't know if it's out anywhere else, but Ulta, I know it's not out. But this is the very first chocolate bar that they came out with, I'm guessing. This is a Too Faced chocolate bar. Mmm, I love the smell of this. But, here's the beautiful colors. And I'm wearing on my face is... Can I get my magnifier? Let me see. Milk chocolate. Then I'm wearing... Harz, Harzapan. This one right here. Harzapan. And then I'm wearing... Champagne truffle. That's what I'm wearing. I love this. This so far actually it's staying on. So I give this props. So far. Because usually what I do is when I put on like the, the Ulta stuff, it don't stay on. After I'm done with my makeup, I could set spray it and whatever. It doesn't stay on. It looks like it's coming off. Okay, then I got the Too Faced. I still have it in the packaging. I just love the packaging. Throughout the times I keep taking this out, I bet you $500 packaging will be all tore up. This is the Too Faced Candlelight Powder, and I don't know the name of it. It has a little mirror, but I love the packaging of it. It's gorgeous. And the box. Okay. The next thing I have is the melted the melted metal in Too Faced and this is in the color Melted Metallic uh, Megacorn and that's where I'm wearing my lips right now so far it stays on this is what it looks like I want to get some more of these I kind of want to get like a red Okay, the next one is in, this is where I keep most of my lipsticks, um, which I have with this. This is the new, the new um, thing that they came out with. This is the lipstick deal. Comes with three lipsticks, has this. So I have most of my lipsticks in here, that what I can fit in here. So I'm taking out, this is what it looks like, and it has a little Eiffel Tower. I wanted to be part of this because I want to at least own something that has something with Paris because of what happened in Paris, France. So this makes me feel good that I'm with them, you know? Okay. This is the first one, and this is called... This is from CoverGirl. I have my CoverGirls in here, and I have the Too Faced. This is, um... In the number 920. This is the hard part. Long wear. Name. Where's the name of this one? Hunt Valley. I think it's called Hunt Valley, and this is made in USA too. This is Hunt Valley. I, I'm guessing this is the name that's right, but that's the color. Oh, shoot, this does not want to come off. Look at this. Now it does not want to come off. <sighs> weird. It's so weird. Okay. This is Hunt Valley. I hope I have this right. Where's the top for it? But that's the color of this one. Okay, the next one, I'm going to do Too Faced last. Okay, the next, I got three more cover girls. I really love this line. The next one is in the number 110. Oh, my nose is starting to itch now. Great. Um, okay, that last one is not called Mint Valley because this one says Mint Valley on two. Where's the name of it? Hold on. What is the name of these things?
Okay, I don't have a clue where the names are on these things. Which I know it because I've showed these in videos once before. Oh, here. This one's called Fireball. Okay, I gotta look at the last one. What was the last one? I forgot where it was at. Let's see. Red Reveal. This one's Red Reveal. This is the last one. Okay, and Fireball, if I can get it. That's Fireball. Okay, I love Fireball. I really do love it. Okay, this next one is called... Pink Shock. Here's Pink Shock. I haven't used Pink Shock yet. Well, I obviously did. Looks like I did. There's Pink Shock. And, um, no. Never mind. Okay, the last CoverGirl one is called, oh wait, Pink Shock is in the number 930. This next one's in the number 915, and it is called Red Surin. Red Surin. See, one of these I'll probably be wearing around Christmas time. I love the other two faced red, but I gotta wait. That one there. Okay. Now, the next three, let me put these all back in here. The next three are the are the um, Too Faced, and I love the packaging. They're like heavy duty. I love the packaging. They're gorgeous. 